But at the same time, I cannot use my hands. Okay? The max he can do is raise one foot. Put one foot on the floor. That's the max he can do. If he passes my guard, great, start over again. I don't want to keep my leg closed. I want to play guard. It's important for you to learn how to keep somebody in your guard, not just trying to finish somebody in your guard. And the only way for me to force you to use your hip more is taking your hands away. Because if I have my hands, I'll be holding you and I'm stuck with you. Lock you in. No, I want you to feel and learn how to use your legs and your hip more. Because the more I use my hip, the less physical it comes, it becomes to you. He's gonna be going, let's see, as a drill, we're gonna go 50% of our energy, especially if you're on top. I will have my hands inside, not holding my belt, this way. And he's gonna pass my guard. And I'm defending and try always to keep my legs in contact with him. If I retreat too much, it's too easy. I wanna make sure that my leg touch his body the whole time, my foot, my feet, my knee, my shin. I'm constantly in contact with him. Go ahead, Luis. And try to make difficult for him to pass. And I learn where do I position. If I go this way, go ahead, pass. And I understand now, man, every time I do this, he passes. Let's see now not to do this. Because a lot of times, if I retreat my feet too much, he gets around. Go back. Many times what I do is, go ahead, I push my foot on the side. How's it gonna get on the side, see? Then I'm blocking him just by doing that. Every time I wanna make sure on the surround of his body, something is here, in the front, on the side. Because every time I go like this, he passes. I have no legs. My legs are constantly blocking him, see, between. I was between my legs, not outside my legs. Then, as you understand, you start learning, when he start passing my guard, move to either side. I learn which side to be better and retreat my leg. Now push it again. I learn how to use the movements. Over, hook, under. You want to get the same ability you have on your arms, on your legs. But I realize it's not just pushing. It's every time he gets too close, I feel uncomfortable, adjust your hip. It's hard for me to go straight out. I go out, move my shoulder. Out, move my shoulder. That's how you gain the space, okay? Let's go get your partner. Would be nice to have white belt, color belt, yes sir. Is there, I asked you this before standing, is there a distance at which you feel, what is the distance that you feel your legs have gone too far? Or is there a distance? If I have my arms, I can control the distance better. If I have no arms, I don't want to extend my leg too much. So if you had control in a standard training environment, you don't have any issue with the straightening of the leg as long as you have control. Yes, of and it's like I have my appliance. What happens if I do not connect to the plug? The appliance doesn't work. It's the same thing when you play guard. If I don't connect my legs to the person, sure. there's no energy there. Then I don't know where he's going. The way for you to feel and control someone is to connect with them. Then you start reading their mind. Oh, he's going to left. He's going to go right. Oh, he's going to go left. Then you're able to control better. But you've got to have that connection with the person. That's why how far the person goes, it depends. Steve cannot allow somebody to go too far back because his legs are shorter than yours. Some people apply, play the game. Stand up for a second, please. Some people like to play a lot over here. Some people like to play a lot over here. That means you don't want him to go too far, because the more he goes, the less control I have. But if I'm playing with the legs in front of him, I don't mind at all. He can go as far as I want. You understand? You have it's control. how you play the game. You having control of one of his Wrists or both? both of Many times I have the gear here. Many people play here. Many people go the legs inside. So as long as you have control of one of his arms and a sleeve, you feel comfortable with that distance You being. can control the distance. And one way for you guys to practice that we're gonna get that, 
during the drills today is all this someone's gi just to measure the distance. It's gonna pay plus my guard. Go ahead, stand. I learned how to keep him close enough that my legs are effective. Because if Lewis move too far away and I stay down, he will pass my guard. That's why when he gets too far back, right, see? For him to pass the guard, he's gonna have to come closer to me. When he comes closer to me, my legs are again back into the game. Right. All right? To start out first, hands inside a belt, just playing, learn how to move a hip, stretch back, learn how to position your legs to block, front, side, move a hip. And the only way to learn for you guys how to use a hip is to force you to use a hip, okay? Remember, we're doing drills now, we're not training. Let's see if we mix collar belts with uh, lower belts. One, two, three. 